Hello there, good day and welcome to Tech Vatiyar. I am Janira. Today we are going to learn about artificial pancreas. Before going into the topic, it is essential to understand the working of a pancreas. Pancreas is a gland located in the abdomen just behind the stomach. It is about 6 to 8 inches long. It extends horizontally across the abdomen. It is the part of the digestive system and produces insulin, glucagon, gastrin and other important enzymes and hormones that helps in breaking down food. Pancreas controls sugar level in the body and produces pancreatic juice made of water, sodium bicarbonate and digestive enzymes for releasing the nutrients from food. The digestive enzymes include lipase for breaking down fat, protease for splitting proteins and amylase for dividing carbohydrates to generate glucose. These nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream. Glucose acts as the main source of energy for cells in the body. Insulin helps the cells to absorb glucose from the blood and convert it to energy. The liver, pancreas and the food consumed are responsible for the glucose and insulin levels in the body. The blood glucose level should be maintained at an optimum level for normal functioning of the body. High blood sugar level and lack of insulin leads to diabetes. There are two main types of diabetes, namely type 1 and type 2. In type 1 diabetes, the patients are not able to produce insulin. This is found in 5 to 10 percent of people with diabetes. It does not have any known cure. Insulin injection is the only medication. Immunotherapy, replacement therapy and combination therapy are used for treatment of type 1 diabetes. In type 2 diabetes, the patients are able to produce insulin. However, their bodies build up a resistance towards insulin. It can be managed and the effects can be suppressed with proper diet, exercises and a few pills. The artificial pancreas is not an actual pancreas. The closest thing to the artificial pancreas right now is an insulin pump. The artificial pancreas takes the insulin pump to a next level by adding real-time monitoring systems. The other technology we have is when the patient pricks themselves to check their blood glucose levels. The artificial pancreas closely mimics the glucose regulating function of a healthy pancreas. It senses the blood glucose level, determines the amount of insulin needed and then delivers the appropriate amount of insulin to the blood. The artificial pancreas uses a smartphone or a computer attached to the insulin pump to continuously measure glucose in blood and insulin in the body. It then uses an algorithm to increase the insulin levels as the body needs it. The artificial pancreas consists of four parts. There is a glucose sensor and a transmitter that measures the glucose levels every minute. It transmits the information to a receiver that displays the glucose levels of the patients. This is connected to a smartphone which calculates how much insulin is needed. Then, via Bluetooth, the smartphone tells the insulin pump to release the proper amount of insulin to the patient. Continuous Glucose Monitor or CGM provides a steady stream of information that reflects the patient's blood glucose levels. A sensor placed under the patient's skin subcutaneously measures the glucose in the fluid around the cells which is associated with the blood glucose levels. A small Bluetooth transmitter sends information to a receiver. A CGM continuously displays and estimates the blood glucose levels, their direction and rate of change of these estimates. A control algorithm is a software embedded in an external processor or controller that receives information from the CGM and performs a series of mathematical calculations. Based on these calculations, the controller sends dosing instructions to the infusion pump. The control algorithm can be run on any number of devices including an insulin pump, computer, smartphone or tablet. 
Based on the instructions sent by the controller, an infusion pump adjusts the insulin delivery to the tissue via a cannula inserted under the skin. The advantages of this system are continuous monitoring of glucose levels, maintaining blood glucose levels, enhancing the life of diabetic patients. The disadvantage of the artificial pancreas system includes discomfort in carrying the system, life-threatening risks due to system malfunction, and requirement of regular maintenance and supplementing. Limitations of the device are, it is battery operated, algorithm does not have a backup and the Bluetooth signal must never be lost. Hope this video provided you with the basic understanding of artificial pancreas. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.